ethics itself is a highly controversial subject. What is ethical and what is not ethical? Only we, pick, we can decide. I don't think the society can decide that. Now here is me trying to find out what is there in the car because it's not working. Ethics is exactly like this. You can't really find out what's happening. Everyone looking in sinking car cannot make it out. And that's what the ethics which we look for is there. Now, I start with the highest income tax charged in India, which you people were not even aware of. In 73-74 was 97.75%. This is Google, it's not my things. I have paid that. In those days, if someone didn't show full income and created black money, it was philosophically called unethical. Conventionally, what is illegal is unethical. This is what is believed. But it went against the human nature. And we, and I have lived that, felt that out of 100 rupees which I earn, if I only can keep 2.5 rupees is mine and the rest is government, how the hell I can work for that? To me, it was not unethical to hide tax in those days. But officially, I didn't hide. I remember when one of my friend's unmarried daughter became pregnant and needed an abortion. In those days when the abortion was illegal. I so-called ethical doctors, friends I phoned, and they said, sorry, it is unethical to do this as it is illegal. And they directed me to Dr. XYZ. He is unethical. He will do it. And the job was done. Is it right? Few years later, the abortion became legally also. So who decides ethical or not ethical? A politician? He has no, no power to really decide ethical or non-ethical. And law can be impractical in some hands. Unsafe abortion, this is the Google beautifully way mentioned, unsafe abortions remain the third leading cause of maternal mortality in India. And the Lancet says that of 15.6 million abortions that took place in India in 2015, majority were conducted outside the medical centers. And that's the reason the mortality increased. So is it unethical to do the abortions when needed? One accusation everyone makes against doctors is these doctors today are unethical and they only want to make money. Now I come to the brass facts. As doctors, are we less ethical than older generation of doctors? What do you think, Neeraj? Are we more unethical than old generation of doctors looking for the money all the time? I do not think so if you see the social structure then and now. I'll talk about, I'm sure all of you are not aware of that structure. When I started medical practice in 1966, even so someone like me who came from a very average financial background, Survival was never an issue. Once you became a surgeon, Gadi, Ladi and Bungalow will come. It was taken for granted. You didn't have to do anything. It will automatically come. Most surgeons entered an elite group of society automatically. I'll give you the example. Willingdon Club, which is a snooty social club. Rejected Mr. Junjunwala Sher Tycoon very recently before he died as his membership. Rejected Dr. D.Y. Patil, the tycoon of the medical college here in this area, as a, as a member. But me, a middle class surgeon, was automatically taken as I was a doctor. This is how the doctors were respected in that era. 
that is what mr doctor's feeling was in society in those days money has never their prime activity i remember my next door consultant of 55 year of age when i was 28 when i just started my practice and i was just seeing my few occasional patients here and there he was next door pumping practice he would get up at 7:30 in the evening put on his hat walk out of the consulting room telling the waiting patients my time is over i need to go to the club he could tell him i have heard him saying it i need to go to the club come tomorrow and his driver will drive him to his huge buick car to the elite club of the town where he would be invited as an honored member all patients will bow to him and leave and come next day early in the evening so that the doctor will oblige them to examine and advise and charge 30 rupees which was the biggest amount in those days in the club he will small talks over a drink play short game of bridge go to his home or his second home for a dinner whatever he desired <laughs> naturally they were ethical doctors once they became doctor red carpet was laid out for them by society why will he become unethical he will lose all that glamour of life so he had to be ethical by force because he had no question of money i am not talking about some ideal imaginary situation you read sarad babu or tagore story of old calcutta and you know very well lawyers judges doctors were depicted in those novels in similar way but today can it be applied when new doctor when starts earning has spent a fortune in medical education i spend 150 rupees a month and probably today they are spending few lakhs a month i understand probably in debt of several lakhs and his or her future is still not certain as in past as i said he may be paying his emi for study loan and his desires to make money is it wrong i don't think it is wrong at all now we all ask how can a doctor not make money into today's social structure which we all know i am fully convinced it's not a sin or unethical if a doctor makes more money please mark my words is not a sin or a doctor makes more money is not unethical if you are used to things properly but without harming a patient or without doing unnecessary treatment only to make money that is unethical if you harm the patient and if you do the operation which is not needed it is absolutely unethical but do not think these days of corruption it is unethical this is the controversial i am talking about in these days of corruption it is unethical to give a part of your earning for procuring that patient what is commonly termed as a split fees with gp or an agent till the time you do not do a wrong uneducated or ineffective surgery i feel it's perfectly all right in today's situations instead of struggling for some imaginary idol is no point in doing that what you charge a patient is individual liberty i do not think it is anything to do with ethics if salman khan can charge if the taj can charge you and me can charge there is no harm in that i believe i'll give bribe to smoothen my life but not take bribe to financially improve my life this is what i believe impossible today to not give a bribe to the municipal workers to the government workers and do your job is not point worth really spending time and energy not doing it but i don't take money from the radiologist from the pathologist or from anybody this is what i believe is my things i do not think if anybody else does it is anything in is wrong till the time the patient is not harmed this is highly controversial to speak from a platform but since i am asked my view i have to be honest to myself but still i believe doctors who deal with human life and well being of the society have to separate out their survival struggle and be absolutely ethical in medical treatment 
you cannot compromise that. I am not concerned how you get your patients and what you charge a patient. But till one is doing a proper treatment of the patient and not doing a wrong procedure to earn extra money and not risk a patient's safety, but charges whatever he thinks suitable. In five-star hospitals I work, I am paid 30,000 in a general ward for a TKR. But the same hospital, same patient, same operation theater, I'm paid two lakhs in a super deluxe room, same surgery, same implant. Is it unethical? My two days experiment, this is a lovely experiment I went through, because patient would ask, Sab, kuch kam karo, kam karo, kam karo. I said, chalo, chhod deo. That is when I had made enough money and I made this experiment. Patients were told by my secretary when they went out of my office after consultation, Doctor's fees are 2,000 in those days. You pay whatever you think you can. See my surprise. Believe me, 10% about paid 2,000. 89% paid 1,000 or 1,500. Only one paid 3,000. It is like vegetable vendor. You and my wife also do bargaining. When you go to the vegetable vendor, are bara rupya kilo ka isa, das rupya de. You don't know that bara rupya hai ki bis rupya hai. Still you want to bargain. When same vegetable is purchased at five rupees cheaper than what you quoted, we really do not know the real price and we feel happy. I'll give you one good example. Very wealthy patient staying in a single room in my nursing home. Bill came to five, six lakhs of rupees. And at the end of it, comes in my room in a busy practice outside. He comes, enters, sab kuch kam karo. Sir, paas lakh ka was, tumara bill hova, tum teen gaadi mein aata hai, kam karo kya? But he will not leave till the time kam karo. Believe me, I reduced 5,000 rupees from the bill. He was happy and he went. And when he was going, I asked him, ye 5,000 mein tere ko kya pharak pada? Dekho, sir, adai minute mein hum 5,000 nahi kam aata hai. <laughs> this is how they believe. This is how they feel. So unless you ask, you will not get. Asking for an ex wife is not unethical. This is the true story. When Bhattacharya and Manke started cardiac surgery, they entered field, they all started charging 1 lakh, 12, 2 lakhs for the surgery. And all of us, increased our charges as we got himmat to ask for more and got it. Till that time we were charging 25,000 only for the highest, I'm talking about breech candy, single room patient. When Manke Bhattacharya had a charge at 1, 2 lakhs, I said, now I can increase to 75,000 and ask for it and got it. So most people have not budgeted their expenses for a medical attention. It's a sudden extra expenses for them. So they desire to keep it at some level only. You do not, you do the right treatment and collect your fees. Whatever you decide is okay, provided the patient can pay that. Otherwise, he has to find another alternative and be ready for that. So even if you ask for five lakhs today or two lakhs today, if they cannot pay, they'll go away. And you are otherwise willing to do it at 20,000 also. So be careful, whatever you want to do. Doing a wrong surgery and earn more money, this even commercially is an inferior practice. Surgeon will earn more money in a short term, but will be exposed to patients in a long term. We want to lumbi raise kagoda and not a short 100 meter flesh. At 85 today still, pardon me if I say, I haven't touched my savings. I'm still putting something in the savings. In these days of insurance and Rajiv Gandhi scheme, we are forced to do treatment at a lower cost. It may be unfair, but if we have taken that scheme willingly, now we abide by that. How can you say they don't charge us? You want that things. So that's not right. Charging unofficial money does not give you a prestige. Like charging extra money if in a general ward or in a scheme, you think you can charge because he's not paying you. I feel is not right. In the long run, you will be counted as a cheater and that's not going to help you
to improve your practice in the long run. Now I hit the hammer hard. If we are not medically up to date in treating our patients, I think this is the most unethical way we are working as doctors. Again, I repeat, I think this is the most unethical way we are working as doctors if we do not update ourselves all the time. I think there I cannot be more unethical than this for a treating doctor. Unfortunately, he or she is not even aware that they are not up to date. They think we are the boss. And a surgeon's typical superego, nobody thinks he is inferior to the X, Y, Z. He thinks what I do is the best. I give an example. Same very efficient joint replacement surgeon. He is a very, very, very busy, good joint replacement surgeon. When this Maharani of X, Y, Z he was treating, this teak total niche he had done it, he got this fracture. And he did this canal femur or that uh, interlocking femur which is going lower down, thin little piddly nail. Went into non-union. I came in, I did this plating, grafting. Day one, this adjuvant plate would have worked. But this surgeon treated the fracture which his knowledge was 30 year old. He didn't with today's knowledge. He could do the knee joint with today's knowledge, but he felt that he has done the fracture so he can do it. This was the fracture, junctional fractures. Where there is a hold of the, where there is a hold of the fracture is so poor, lower down. Had to be treated with the dual plate, a nail and a plate. Walked after 13 months. Orthopedic surgeon's wife in a city. So obviously treated by the best of the person in the city. Just because you are the best comparatively, you are not necessarily good all the time. Again, this junctional fractures, most workers say junctional fractures between upper two-third and lower one-third, anti-grade nailing with two screws lower down is contraindicated. I am using the word contraindicated. Either do a distal femur nail or do a plate with nail which is a hundred percent assurance. Excellent specialized since 15 years joint replacement surgeon. Did this surgery. Did the leg screw. That piece became necrotic. Did the second surgery, kept keeping that piece necrotic. Again, that didn't work. So lovely hip which was functioning, he changed it to a long stem hip. Just because he had no knowledge of the fracture treatment of today. Again, still this is not healed up. Gusta Kimaf, possible reason, short oblique fracture, never do a leg screw. Short oblique fracture, if you do a leg screw, I don't think any advanced trauma surgeon will ever do a leg screw for this. He did a leg screw and Aaron ended up with this avascular necrosis of that piece and had a problem and that again, second time he went, this is the fracture, again the second surgeon. You can see here, once you do the leg screw here, in the short oblique fracture, you can see this sequestrum which is there. Never do a leg screw in the short oblique fracture. This is the reason why this fracture work, didn't work. And second time he went, easier it was for him to remove that necrotic bone, keep the fibula or a big bone, bone there and probably do other things, but still, all these things, this is again a second surgeon, joint replacement surgeon did the same thing. Again, ultimately corrected by a trauma surgeon. All what you need for a long oblique fracture, do the leg screw, but short oblique fracture, please don't do the squeeze. All these cases of specialized joint surgeon treated fractures with their MS gold medal. And those human beings who could have become all right in two to three months' time went through unnecessary more surgery, ending up in revision joint replacement. 
just because joint replacement has been thought he has treated fractures in past he is as good again this is the one premier surgeon in the city treated this second one of the most successful surgeon in another city treated this this broke down third most knowledgeable known surgeon x fix surgeon treated this with the fibula graft and x fix again gave way all it needed at day one was to the compression of this fracture this would have held up so just because you have a huge practice just because you have a name just because you are doing a massive surgery volume of surgery not necessarily you are updated and that i feel is the most unethical practice which you can do after 4 years this person became all right and this was a pediatric cardiac surgeon in xyz city again you can see here seven star hospital somebody operated this non union did the fibula from here ended up with the foot drop and ultimately five and a half years she went on with her treatment order to walk first time better that also with the foot drop good treatment would have make her in four months time all right so very very well the person so treated by a superstar hospital with a senior surgeon with a large practice i am using this this is the truth if i gave you the names i am sure those people bombay people will know about it this i feel is most unethical unfortunately surgeon doesn't know that he is doing a inferior surgery this happened with most people who always think they are the best and need no attend meetings or read articles if you only make money and do not pay attention to improving your orthopedics money making will be a short term preoccupation and longer time you will spend counting and worrying about the lack of new money coming in unless one updates regularly your practice will dry up in 15th and 60s no one has become successful by doing orthopedically inferior surgery they may survive but not succeed so in order to be rich which is not unethical one must have a sound academic orthopedic to improve orthopedic knowledge i read this book how to be a millionaire and i was thinking he will tell me buy this stock buy that stock buy that stock no only thing which he taught all at the end of that book is napoleon hill if you have read that you have a intense desire to be rich you will become rich the ways will come so if you have intense desire to update yourself you will get it you will have no problems at all quality improvement is a passion which one gets only if there is a intense crazy desire to be good in one sees around in the branch of medicine only who has remained successful in 70s and 80s are all competent doctors who are constantly updated I feel most doctors are busy making money in 30s and 40s and neglect their update. We all know quite a few will miss a major learning opportunity because one fracture came at the last minute and they cancel their attending a major meeting and earned a little money and lost a lot of wisdom which would earn far more money in future for them. Most orthopedic surgeons will become rich if they marry a daughter of a rich businessman which is not unethical. but by doing a good orthopedics which is not unethical also then you will make money all throughout your life those of us like me could marry rich girl our choice is only a good orthopedics <laughs> have no illusion nobody can have big practice by giving 50% commission to gp if you do not exhibit results on the bone gps will leave you because there are many who will give them the same kickback quality improvement is the one which you have to do it and i come to my last things if one doesn't learn new and improved patient care this i feel is the most unethical practice now i talk about the last thing i talk about drug industry and instrument industry giving comforts to doctors to improve their business which we all talk we never talk loudly 
I am talking it loudly now. I think this is, I have hit the nail on the head. None of us want to discuss this, but all of us in meetings, which conferences are not practical without industry support. Probably this meeting also. This is one point MMC is harping on, media is harping on. We feel guilty to accept the existence of it. My IOA meeting in Bhuvaneshwar I went. And with idealistically I was trying to find out a hotel. I did find a three-star hotel where dirty, filthy, everything. I reached the meeting and my boys asked me, sir, where are you staying? I said, so and so place, so and so place. Are sahab, aisa kaisa hoega. Ding, 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 ding. He caught up one company and I was positioned into a five-star Taj Hotel for my comfort. This is not possible without that. So today, very difficult to book a good hotel near the meeting venue as all of us are booked by industry. For whom, of course, for us, we are willing to stay. So what choice we have? Is it unethical? It is one of the better product company directly promoting the product. They are all better products. Depew, Zimmer, Smith, Nevue, all of them. If move ointment is allowed to advertise, is it unfair if the fairness cream is allowed to advertise, wrongly to advertise again? If multivillionaires advertise, these people are doing the same thing. They are dealing with small community of users, so the newspaper media is not appropriate, not effective as a direct promotion. I cannot argue like this because MMC doesn't approve this. So all this practice, if is unethical, and none of us should get involved in such unethical practice and shouldn't get caught. That's all I will say. Conclusion, for procuring a patient, if you need to use some different methods, you have a limited choice. Once patient comes to you, it's foolish to treat him only to make money, it is a short-lived success. To me, not to have an up-to-date knowledge is the most unethical way a doctor can work. Thank you very much.